Janice, this bill will replace our enlisted force with a profit-driven army. It's completely absurd. Is this true, Senator? Your bill would privatize the military? What Senator Whitehorse seems to be forgetting is that our enlisted forces just lost an aircraft carrier to terrorists. And that's not to mention all of the recent ambushes and unnecessary casualties. You see, war isn't what it used to be. The rules of engagement don't apply anymore. Time and time again, we've seen that private corporations are better and more adapted at handling this kind of threat. To put it simply, if the military isn't able to take care of business, we need someone who is. I talked to Section 8 and he thinks someone is leaking U.S. troop positions to our enemies. You gotta chill on the conspiracy theories, man. Well, he thinks it's coming from inside SSC. Must be the Illuminati. Abort, boys, abort. Make your way to the evac point now. The chopper's on the way. You've been reassigned to a new mission. This is a big one. We've found the constellation, 200 miles west of Manila Bay. The Philippine government thinks their navy can handle it, but the DOD thinks differently, which is why they've hired us. Your mission is to take control of the ship from the terrorist hijackers. You'll parachute onto the carrier. Philip Clyde will be with you. What the? Clyde? Hell no! We're not working with him anymore! Hey, Dalton says it's a three-man job. You don't have a choice. You guys should touch down near the rear of the carrier, then make your way up to the control tower. These terrorists are with Abu Sayyaf, one of the most powerful terror organizations in the world. We don't know what their plans are, but as long as you two do your job, we'll never have to find out. Everything clear? Yeah, we got it. We're on our way! Yeah. All right, I'll contact you as soon as we have more details. Over and out. Corpses back to Dalton. Look, we ain't any happier to be doing this with you than you are to be doing it with us. So let's just stay out of each other's hair and get this thing done. No problem, fucko. Fucko? Who says that? Uh, hey, Alice, we're on deck. We're we'll heading for the control tower. Hold on. We can't let any more of those terrorists get up on the air. There are four jets on the carrier runways near the blast doors. Disable the jet technician system. Copy that. We're on our way.
Relax!
soldier. I got it, chill. Man, you got it, no problem. I got you, Tice. Looks like the sailors left one life raft when they evacuated the carrier. That's good. The way things are going today, we may have to use it. Okay, okay. 
Okay! See what's on this laptop. Shit, a flash drive. Wonder what's on here. Jump. Over. What the hell are you doing? Oh, what? Tell her about that. Not until we know what's going on. I plug that USB drive into my GPS, and Section 8 is gonna look at it remotely. Don't say anything until he tells us what's up.
Shit! There's no way out. You guys figure out how to get out of that room? Negative. Hello? Maybe you can use the fighter jet to blast down the door? Why does she have to be such a bitch sometimes? someone was leaking U.S. troop positions to our enemies? Well, Section 8 hacked into the drive we found, and he says it was Clyde. That drive is full of troop positions and transaction records with terrorists and enemies. You all right, sir? I'll be all right, but we got a real situation here. This ship's loaded up with stolen nuclear warheads. They're controlling the ship, and they've booby-trapped the engine room. Try and get in there, and she'll blow quicker than a tie hooker. And we're on a collision course for downtown Manila. You've got to be shitting me. I'm a Navy captain. Bullshitting ain't in my job description. Now listen. The Navy SEALs are on their way, but we can't wait. I need you to help me bring this ship to the bottom before she reaches Manila. Of course. We'll do it. Good. Now take the elevators down to Hangar B. Pass through that hangar to Hangar C. I'll give you further instructions over the radio. And, uh, good luck. Seems like today, luck just ain't in our job description. What the hell is going on? Why did you leave the captain on the bridge? He was hurt. Over. This thing's turned into a real nightmare. The captain says there's nuclear weapons on board and we can't control the engine. We gotta help him bring the ship down before we reach Manila. What? What are you gonna do? We're working with the captain. We'll take care of it. Then we'll head back to the bridge and get him out of here. Over.
behind me and shoot! I need to put fuck! Okay. So much for the Navy SEALs saving the day. Shit, bro. That's fucking Pedro. Clyde did this. He killed Pedro, and he killed Eisenhower. Eisenhower died in Iraq. You saw him die. Clyde leaked those troopers in. He's responsible for what happened to Eisenhower. Pedro, man! Eisenhower! They were the only ones left from our Ranger squad. I can't believe it! Harris, to cowboy contractors. But where the hell are you? This ain't exactly a pleasure cruise. We just entered Hangar B. Man. Okay, you got it. These are hydraulic doors. If we could destroy the valve, we'll release the pressure and be able to open the doors. Wait, shit, that looks like the panel up there. I can't believe you were right. Let me help you out. Goddamn cover! 
fire. It's cool, Tice. I got you covered. I'm dying here, Tice. I'm on it. Oh, shit. They got me. Shit, Tice. I need some help.
SSC now. We don't know if Clyde is operating alone, and if he's not, they know we know. Would you quit this shit already? I'm sure Clyde was just trying to make a few extra bucks. It's not some grand conspiracy. I don't know, man. I just don't know. <laughs> 